Meet Anna, 51 years, avid smartphone user. Her mother, Erica, 77 years old, lives in a different city. They see each other only at weekends. Anna is worried about her mother being lonely and without help in case of an emergency. Anna would like to see her mom more often, but she lives far away. Erica is active and autonomous, but tends to forget things. Anna would love to be sure nothing happens when she cooks or roams around the house. Erica loves her daily walk, and Anna wants her to continue this, but she suffers from a heart condition. What if an emergency happens? She's afraid nobody would be there for her. Also, she fears her mother doesn't measure her blood pressure or forgets to log the results. When Anna visits her mother, she brings Genie certified smart power sockets, which she plugs for the stove and kitchen lights. They'll help Erica stay autonomous. The power socket can be programmed or learn Erica's routines. It can switch off the stove or the oven, if turned on unintentionally, by checking that lights have been switched off and no other device has been used for the past 30 minutes. All automatically or controlled remotely by Anna. Anna gives her mother a button that she attaches to her keys. It tracks her, detects falls or injuries, and receives and answers calls. Erica continues her walks without fear of not being able to call for help. Pushing the button, she can summon Anna and an ambulance. Anna creates a genie.me account for her mother and pairs the devices to the new account. Anna joins Erica at the doctor to check her blood pressure. He gives her a genie certified smart blood pressure meter and invites Erica using the device's ID and Erica's genie account as it is genie certified as well. With Erica's and Anna's consent, he adds permission to access the data. Now Erica can measure her blood pressure on her own, yet the device will notify if she forgets. The doctor will be updated without her coming over. Erica gets an invitation on her tablet to accept what has been agreed at the doctor. Now the data is shared with authorized parties. A week later, Erica makes coffee. While the milk is heating up, she samples her blood pressure. Erica receives notification that the blood pressure is all right. Then she goes for a walk. In her walk, she recalls the kitchen stove. In a hurry to get back home, she stumbles and falls. The emergency button registers the fall and sends Anna a message. She immediately calls her mother. Erica confirms she's fine, but afraid she forgot to switch off the stove. Anna checks on Genie.me and the power socket shut down the stove automatically 10 minutes after her mother left. Anna is relieved to see her mother is okay. She helped her despite being away. This gives her peace of mind. Erica feels secure now she's told the stove was turned off. She's happy about her new smart aid. Her doctor has received her log and is pleased with the results. There's no need for Erica to visit the doctor.